came over and we're very glad to be here down at Willow Creek for the bridal show today. Just wanted to meet some local brides and grooms and see how we could offer our limousine services to them. As far as being, for this being a lot local for the customers from this limousine area, has it kind of helped out, helped them out a little bit? Definitely. I mean, it brings more awareness to all the vendors that are here. If you really look at the vendor quality that's here today at the show, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Everyone has great setups. You know, they've done tons of shows. They've done tons of weddings. So they really have a lot to offer. Okay. They really do. Is there future-wise, I guess, sorry, just getting back to, to sure, this. Sure. But as future-wise, um, for anybody that's, as a customer that wants to get, be interested in renting a limousine or sure. service-wise, uh, what can a customer expect like service-wise? Sure. Um, from Platinum to Limousine, we really encourage the customers to come and view our vehicles. So you're going to see the exact vehicle you're going to get. Um, you know, experience getting in it, the music, you know, everything, the whole experience. And what we like to do is sit down with the bride and groom and go throughout their day and see where transportation will really fit in. So really how we can help them out that day. So then to take that weight off their shoulders and really, you know, provide a great service for them. Right. Yes, go ahead. All right, so for today we've created a hibiscus lemonade drink. So for weddings and special events, we are often creating a signature drink for the couples based on their preference. Um, to make this, we take uh, hibiscus leaves and we steep them to create a simple syrup and then we add it to a lemonade that we make in-house and just mix it all together and voila! <laughs> okay. Now, you mentioned about each couple has their own different... Is there ever a common one that you ever notice at all or is it just everybody's um, different? I mean, sometimes they vary based on season, you know, okay. so a lot of times during the summer a lot of people like to do a twist on a lemonade. Um, during the fall we do a lot of like um, cider drinks and okay. things like that and maybe something warm versus a cold drink. Okay. Um, it really kind of depends on the preference of the couple and what, you know, it's usually based on something that they really like. So the main reason why we came out is uh, I'm new to the area. Well, actually, we're new to the area. Okay. Uh, we read, we came across this great opportunity of like a one-stop shop. Okay. Uh, we moved to Livonia in February, so our wedding is in, tw in 2020. Oh, so we came here to like take advantage of just local businesses because, again, Livonia is such a great community. Right. Um, so yeah, we're here. I'm excited. I came out with the not having a venue or a florist and yeah. I've made so many connections that I'm excited for just the resources Livonia has, Livonia, sorry okay. not Livonia, Livingston County has, so that's why I forced him to come with me. Okay, um, understandable, But understandable. I think he's enjoying his time, to be honest. <laughs> he's meeting nice, people. Nice meeting, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, does it, nice does it kind of help you guys out just being together, coming out and take a look at different vendors since they're all here? Yeah. Just they all have that conversation like what's your interest, things like that. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. I think it's for me to keep that inside of, oh yeah, I do have a groom and, and somebody else with an opinion for the wedding. Um, also to just kind of see what he likes, you know, what he doesn't like. Um, so so that our wedding day represents the both of us and just not right. me. Um, but I think the biggest part is I'm so overwhelmed and happy that I came because yeah. I have so many decisions um, and great people. Good. Yeah, I had no idea how many decisions actually went into. I really thought it was you go to a place and they do everything for you, you know. So if you pick a venue, they'll figure out everything and work with you. And yeah. I'm realizing now there's so many different steps, you know, right. photography, catering, venue, dress. You know, <laughs> is there anything you two for next year wise for future couples to come out here? Is there anything they should keep in mind when they're here? I think an open mind would be, you know, so don't get too pigeonholed on this is what I want it to be because there are just so many options and so many different venues and yeah. just different things and, um, you know, especially around the local community as well that, you know, there's great places that offer great insight. Honestly, the Genesee Country Museum didn't even know they did weddings and we're like just amazed that they offer, you know, certain venues and it's just things like that, you know, it's keeping up a mind. And, uh, I totally agree with him. Like, First place. time ever. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm shocked. Put it in first place. <laughs> I totally agree with them. <laughs> yeah. Any, anything else? 
Um, I think that's it, honestly. I, like I said, I was that bride that had that one mindset, and then being here, just being, yeah, having that resource and um, meeting people at different venues has definitely changed my mind. And um, but that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. it's exciting. That's it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. To the venue here. The venue here. Yes. Basically, to show off our dresses, and it's for Livingston County. We're the only bridal shop in Livingston County, so hey. it's a really good way for us to advertise. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Now, as far as future brides that are coming out here, does this help them out and all get like a visual idea, like their future dress might be? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's different once you try a wedding dress, but I think to actually visually see something, right. it draws someone to come in more. Now, as far as the, the dress goes itself, yes. for next year, will there be different dresses? So, kind of a turnaround time to order a dress. Okay. It's best to have like six to nine months. Okay. So, once a year, everything kind of changes and evolves a little bit, but it shouldn't too like drastically be too different. Okay. Yeah. So, for them to try it out, like you have your shop and they'll be able to get a, like an idea of if like a dress works. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. try in a variety of styles. Right. Yeah. So we'll try about with them. They try about like five to ten and we help them and explain them. Okay. All that, yeah. Once they start trying, they narrow down on things that they're liking and different styles and then we pull things and so we work with the bride. We take what their vision is and then we kind of refine it and help them select their dress. Yeah. As far as like a season goes, is there like a different trend at all? Like fall, spring, summer? Is it just not really. You can kind of do anything now. It, it okay. used to be like that, but There's it's not like that at all. Super okay. traditional anymore. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else you two like to add at all? Come buy your wedding dress at the wedding dress in Genesee. The only place <laughs> to get your gowns. Alright. So um, what made you to decide to host this event? It is a great opportunity for Willow Creek as we just had our CO a verbal CO authorized the end of December, so we had not done any marketing at all yet. And this is our first chance to get out there and let everybody see what Willow Creek is all about. All right. um, what have you, I guess you want to say, learned from this experience? This is great. Learn that I cannot wait to get my paving done in the driveway. <laughs> but I've learned that there's a lot of call, a lot of need for wedding venues in this area. And it doesn't matter that all the other venues are here because everybody wants a particular type of wedding. So if they want an outdoor wedding, they're going to go with a barn. And we can offer year round, so that's our special bonus. And it's really nice to see all these people together interacting with everybody and getting to meet everybody in the community that's all working together. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to add? That I would like to let everybody know, please come and tour Willow Creek because it's got a huge seating capacity and we I'm very proud because I grew up in this area, graduated out of Livonia and I'm back and I'm glad to be part of the community. Hmm.